And that is the end of tonight's feature film, Citizen Kane. It's British native speakers tutorial on the transatlantic or mid-Atlantic accent. Let's go! This is for people who want to sound more like their neighbours over the pond. The pond is what we call the Atlantic Ocean. And in this video, I'll show you the main features of the transatlantic accent, plus a bonus feature right at the end of the video. Now remember, right here you can get a better British accent. Or actually, today you can get a better British or American accent. How do we speak it? So, just like RP, but unlike American English, it is a non-rhotic accent. In other words, it is R-less. Mostly at the end of words, if there's an R spelling, so there's a real emphasis on the schwa, that's for sure. Okay, let's try this. He gave the water to the porter. Now, if you would like to trill or flap the R, you could say, he gave the water to the real porter. Do you see? It doesn't work at the end of words, but it can work at the beginning of words if there's an R, and you don't have to do it. It's not a golden rule that in the transatlantic accent you have to roll your R's, but it was a very common way, especially also with conservative RP, which I have a video, if you click above, you'll go to the link for conservative RP and a video I've made on this. Um, it was very popular in the early 20th century to roll your R's if you wanted to speak very good English. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is called round your vowels. Rounded really means you need to have a nice, open, circular mouth when you speak, so that you speak very clearly. Uh, this is a good one from Singing in the Rain. Try this. Ta, te, ti, to, tu. Ta, te, ti, to, tu. <laughs> that is what they used to teach people. If you're an American and you want to speak in a very nice British way, then you have to pronounce the R sound in certain words. So, the classic one to really get if you want to sound British is to say can't. Can't, 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 can't. Do you see the difference? There is quite a big difference there, and I think that's a really key element of trying to speak in a transatlantic accent. Now, um, I've noticed that some actors retain their American accent in certain words. So, uh, in British English, you have the lot vowel, which is o. And I've noticed that a few American actors, including Catherine Hepburn and Vincent Price, when they're speaking, okay, so Catherine Hepburn says snob, and I would say snob, snob, snob. Goes to show that there's a complete variation of speakers of the transatlantic accent. Okay, so one last point on vowels is there is no happy tensing in the transatlantic accent. You wouldn't say happy, you would say happy, happy. And I've gone into detail in that in one of my other videos called How to Speak Contemporary RP. And again, I'll leave a link to the video above. But also connected with that, you can pronounce words ending in day. You can pronounce them, sun, for example, Sunday or Sunday. Do you see? Okay, let's move on to the next part. This is called pronounce your T's. Let's use the word butter. So you really have to emphasize the T in the words. Usually in the middle of a word, if it's a double T or one T, you would say butter, butter. Remember the schwa at the end as well. So it's butter. For example, you could say something like, could you pass the butter, Walter? 
and also the l sound is very much pronounced um, clearly as well so in fact there's not the the moral is there's not a lot of dropping of sounds in the transatlantic accent because of course the main thing you want to do is to speak as clearly as possible and quite slowly the other thing is you need to slow down your speech so that you become clearer as well okay right and the last one is don't forget the y sound sometimes so when you say words like duty and tuesday you should really emphasize so this is a rather this is the classic uh, rp trained way of saying these words is duty and tuesday tuesday for example you could say it's tom's duty to do the lighting on tuesday so there we have it a guide to speaking in the transatlantic accent or mid-atlantic accent hit the like button if you like this video and you want to find out more you can browse my channel for more videos on accents i've done plenty of accents um, ranging from cockney to rp um, and it's worth having a look through there are some links in the description below as well time to go i really hope you enjoyed this accent training today and in a very british way i will just say to you that's all for today thank you stay connected and cheers <laughs>